of Information and Culture, and of course, the governor of Lagos State. And uh, a quick recap, a recap of what uh, the Minister of Information said on the National Theatre. It is to restore and glory days. Meanwhile, as we see the people moving, they move into the entrance of uh, the National uh, Theatre downstairs where the symbolic uh, handing over will be taking place. And while uh, we're waiting for that to take place, the minister also said that the project must not lead to a single job loss, but to create more jobs. And about uh, 6,000 jobs will be created during the construction phase, while uh, 600 will be created after the construction. Now, the project, uh, we were made to understand, is approved by Mr. President, and it is a win-win situation for everyone involved, the public-private partnership at its best. Now, other things that will be seen at the National Theatre when uh, it is restored to its uh, former glory, will be seen um, installation of new seats, acoustics, air conditioning and lightning that uh, will be upgraded to international standard. There will be upgrade of the theatre, main hall, cinema halls, and of course the about 134 hectares of land, undeveloped land, will be um, having a world-class facility for the Nigeria creative industry. Yes, even with COVID-19, think good is coming out for the creative industry. And I'm very sure that the key players in the industry are already thinking of how they can make good use of the facilities when it is renovated and the new ones when it is constructed. Now, there are few that um, this um, edifice will be hijacked, but good enough, the Minister of Information has said, contrary to speculations, no one is hijacking the National Theatre. It is a national edifice and it is what will uh, create uh, jobs for the theming youth. So um, Nigerians, should we support this project so we will have a great edifice that this country can be proud of? Now the creative uh, clusters will be supported by other facilities apart from uh, those uh, highlighted in the various phases of the construction work that will be done at the undeveloped uh, plots of land around the National Theatre. Well, several attempts at renovation have failed, but uh, everyone here is happy that this one has seen the light of day. The idea um, actually began in 2019, and today it is coming to fruition. This is the hub of entertainment in Nigeria and the city of aquatic splendor, Lagos State. And we're expecting the National Theatre to continue to encourage and advance uh, performing arts, create opportunities, and of course promote social uh, development. Once more, we're expecting to see the likes of Steady Wonder, who at one point in his career performed here at the National Theatre. A lot of Nigerians will want to see you know, um, great um, artists from around the world come here again to take part in one or two events. Now, to what the governor said during her speech, a recap briefly, he says an idea without financial backing will only remain an idea. And he thinks uh, the body of bankers CEO, and of course, uh, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria for agreeing to come together to restore the National Theatre to its former glory. He also thanked uh, Karkovi for supporting the federal government in fight against uh, COVID-19. Uh, this project is expected to be completed in the next 22 months. And uh, Governor Sonwoku is hopeful 
that the Rehabilitated National Theater or Refurbished National Theater in Lagos will proudly have Mr. President, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, walking around the facilities to commission it, rather to inaugurate it. And this turnaround at the National Theater will entertain generations yet on board. Now, a good thing is that the beautification will not just be within the National Theater alone. Surrounding areas will also benefit from this, just as uh, it's, been, uh, it's taking place around Lagos, under the bridges. We will have uh, beautiful um, artistic designs, and uh, there will be a recreation center where children can actually have a, a time to play around there. So a lot is happening, even in the midst of our COVID-19, all the same development taking place. So no one will say that the economy was abandoned because of our COVID-19. A good one there from the federal government and other private initiatives are involved in this uh, project. Now, um, legacy of the festival. You know, for example, the Minister of Information and Culture, the Minister of Youth and Sports, the Permanent Secretary of the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and of course, um, the body of bankers, CEO represented we're about to see the symbolic handing over of the land by His Excellency. The governor of Lagos State and the symbolic handover of the facilities to the governor of the CBN and Bankers Committee by the Honorable Minister of Information and Culture. Information and Culture, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, taking over proceedings of the handing over of the National Theatre in Common Lagos. Uh, the federal government in uh, 2019 uh, was reported to have the National Theatre to the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bankers Committee for the development of Creative Industry Park. That was in 2019, and today it has um, become a reality as the governor of the CBN has promised that um, they will do all they can to ensure that this Great national edifice 
will be returning. So it's a blurry day. Now the goal through the establishment of the park is to create an environment where startups and existing businesses can be incubated and rewarded for their creativity. We understand that the CBN and the Bankers Committee intend to support this creative venture with about uh, 22 billion naira of initial funds. memory lane on the national uh, theatre, uh, especially the festival of uh, uh, Thank you very much, gentlemen of the press. Thank you.